if you begin playing the wouldn't it be nice if game, in other words, wouldn't it be nice if work was more fun? Or wouldn't it be nice if that person were no longer there? Or wouldn't it be nice if um, I was making a whole bunch more money? When you identify what you want in that soft wouldn't it be nice attitude, you give your manager uh, a, a great deal of latitude to work on your behalf. Let's reach for some thoughts that feel better because that is really what the real work is because it's unlikely that you will go pet your dog and not think about work because you have to go there pretty often, you see. So just start somewhere. You can even start where you just were and together we'll reach for thoughts that feel better. So just start wherever it feels natural to start. You can start with a negative declaration. It doesn't matter because we're going to walk right out of it pretty easily here. Work isn't a place I want to be. It, it's, it's an uncomfortable place. The people around me are very negative. All right. Now, as you speak that factual stuff that you believe, you can feel that your range relative to this subject goes from sort of misery to miserable. <laughs> in other words, there's not a whole lot of difference in any of the things that you offered there. They all feel pretty much the same. But let's remember that what the work is is to try to feel better. It's not to explain it like it is. It's not to justify why I want to go someplace else. This effort that you're going to make here is one reason only, and that is to try to find a thought that feels a little better than the thought that feels most normal there. So do your very best and reach for a thought, something about work that feels a little less horrible than the ones you just offered us. In other words, um, you can't reach to, it's a lovely place to be and I love every moment I'm there. <laughs> That's way, way out of range for you. Yeah. And the universe would not believe your words anyway, you see. So just do your best. To, what you're reaching for is something that you believe that feels a little better than the worst of that. Um, I am good at what I do and, and oh. it's an easy job to do. Good. I'm, I'm good at what I do. Now, I'm good at what I do. Stay there for just a, a little bit and milk that a little bit. I'm good at what I do. Can you find any vision, and speak it if you want to, of uh, pleasure relative to being good at what you do? In other words, expand yeah. that just a little bit and try to get another 17 seconds out of it. Because Well, was... I go down and I say, I'm good at what I do, but I don't feel appreciated. I don't know why, but it's like well, that's when I all right. look at it well, further. That's all right, you see, because you said, I'm good at what I do, and you, you did feel a glimmer that felt better, and then you just sort of lapsed back into the other. That's all right. That's very normal. I'm good at what I do. So now, now it would be easier to go back there, but that's not the name of this game. The name of this game isn't find the thought that feels worse. The name of this game is find the thought that feels best. So even though the thought that feels worse might come easier, reach for the best feeling thought. You said, I'm good at what I do. So now try to run that a little bit. I'm good at what I do. Um, how do you know you're good at what you do? Um, it comes easily. It works well. Things um, run smoothly most of the time. I like that feeling of clarity in my mind, and I like that feeling of knowing. Now, you said you're not appreciated. Are you not appreciated by anybody, or is there anybody that appreciates you? There are some who appreciate me, sometimes. Now, reach for that a little bit. Can you remember a compliment that was ever offered to you, one that you really believed when they offered it? Yes, it's been a while, but yeah. Uh, that's all right. We know that's a strong pull back there. <laughs> I have been appreciated, but not very often. But I have received some compliments, but it's been a long time ago. <laughs> but that's normal. So reach for it. This may not be the easiest path to find well-being. We might be barking up the wrong tree here for a moment, but we think it's worth at least making an effort. We might not make it. We might not find a thought that feels better, but let's make an effort. And if we don't find it, then we'll poke around in there for something easier. But, but just keep reaching for it. Oh. I'm good at what I do. Stay on that theme for just a moment. I'm good at what I do. Um, the people I, I, I work with outside of yes. the building oh, yes. appreciate what I do. Oh, yes, they do, don't they? All right, now stay there for a moment. And if you can, find an example of that and milk that. See, what happened is already this became your center. In other words, your, your, your energy has shifted significantly already. 
or you would not have been able to find that thought. And did you notice how it didn't come and it didn't come and it didn't come and then all of a sudden that thought came? Because all of a sudden you had access to a thought that you didn't have access to before. So now milk that a little longer. In other words, it's not necessarily the people you work with, but the people for whom you do the work yes. uh, are appreciating it. Now take that a little bit and milk that for good feelings. Okay. How can you tell they are appreciating it? Things they say, things they do, smiles on their face, light in their eyes. It's just, I, I can hear in their voice the confidence. They have a confidence in my ability. They trust that I know what I'm doing. Um, They're right too, aren't they? Yes. You do know what you're doing, and they know it, and they're a big part of why you do it. Yeah. Uh, now, can you feel how the, that center part is moving still further? In other words, feeling much better about your work. Now, relative to the subject of work, try to find some other thoughts that feel good, maybe on a different subject of that. Hmm. Are there other positive aspects about your work? Is there anything about your work that, that, uh, that feels good that you would like to reach for? Are you earning the same money that you earned when you began, or are you making more money now? I'm making a little bit more money, it, it's, and it's, it's a good job. I yes. mean, it's not wonderful. I mean, the amount of money is good. Yes. It's good. Yes. Now, your vibration is very clear about that. That's a strong point of appreciation, isn't it? Yes. Uh, in other words, I am appreciating offering, the, offering this effort in exchange for this dollars. It's a, it's a good exchange. It's working very well for me. Now, can you feel? You, you, you're in a much better place than you were before. So keep milking it. Any other aspect about it? Um, there's a certain amount of independence that I, that I am allowed. There isn't somebody always looking over my shoulder. It's me doing it. It's not everybody telling me what to do. It's, it's me. It's mine. What I do out there is mine. Starting to sound like a better place all along here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now, if you try hard, you could get back to where we started just now. But it would take almost as much effort to get back to where we started as it did to get over here. In other words, real headway was made. Now, there are some who would say, oh, well, that's it. In other words, that's all there is to this uh, uh, letting it in. And we say, that's all there is. It's just reaching for the thought that feels better, reaching for the thought that feels better. Now, what will happen is your vibration will never be quite the same relative to your work. And already, just from that little bit of effort that you've made here, the people who are at work will begin to respond to you differently. In other words, everything in your experience relative to that subject has shifted somewhat because of this very mild effort here. See how it works? Yeah. Want to take it further or some other subject further? Well, one other thing is like when somebody isn't feeling good. For example, I've had a cold recently. And like right now my ear is plugged up since I flew down here. I've tried to look at other things. I've tried to think about, imagine, you know, the ear being clear and open. But as soon as I stop, it, it, it's a little bit like, like she was saying with her shot. As soon as she does that, it reminds you that you're right back where you're at. Well, when you're sick especially, it's like as soon as you come back, it's like it's just so there. Well, see, here's the thing. When there is a manifestation that has to do with your physical body, it's harder for you to ignore it because you sort of take your body everywhere you go. Yes. And so it's easier to begin learning this process of uh, allowing the energy to flow or finding the thought that feels best if you choose subjects that are apart from that. In other words, what we're saying to you is just start with something easier. Yeah. And both your job and your physical body, if your physical body isn't feeling good, those are not the easiest places to begin. But sometimes they are the most important places to begin because the contrast has put the desire in a stronger place. So. Just keep playing with it, and eventually you'll reach the place where you could have strong pain as a result of resistance within your body, and you could just lift off of it. We, we were talking about uh, rubbing on sandpaper. It's a very fine sandpaper, so it doesn't really cause any great concern at first. But the longer you do it, the greater the concern is. But the good news is, at any point, you can just lift off of it. And if you can imagine the feeling of relief when you lift off of it, you see, something that has come on sort of gradually, you don't necessarily believe that you can just lift off of, but you can. And it just takes a little practice to do it. If you will play this game of 
which thought feels best, which thought feels best, or wouldn't it be nice if, or what I like about that is. In other words, reaching, reaching for thoughts that feel better relative to your work. And then you begin noticing what will seem from the outside like magical things happening as, it, as, as the universe literally transforms your environment to match your newfound vibration, then you can tackle more challenging things like changing a physical condition. Okay. So it's just keep practicing it. Yes, and, and have fun with it. In other words, <laughs> let, it, let it be about the fun. Mm -hmm.